If you're newer to Vue, you may be wondering how to get hired as a Vue developer. After all, as of April 2023, the median Vue developer salary in the United States is around $121,919 USD, according to ZipRecruiter. The good news is that there are steps you can take to improve your chances of landing one of those lucrative Vue developer jobs. In this video, we'll outline eight practical steps you can take to get hired as a Vue developer. We'll cover everything you need to know to stand out in the competitive job market and increase your chances of landing your dream job, whether that's a remote view job or a team you meet up with in an office. Step 1. Learn the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Before diving into Vue, it's important to have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of web development. This includes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are the building blocks of web development and are essential for creating single file view components, which use HTML for templates, CSS for styling, and JavaScript for logic. Having a strong foundation in these technologies will help you to create powerful, dynamic, and responsive web applications using Vue. Step 2. Explore the Vue ecosystem. To develop robust and efficient Vue applications, it is important to be comfortable with the Vue ecosystem. Vue Router is a popular tool for managing client-side routing and Vue applications. It provides a simple and intuitive API for defining routes and handling navigation. Pinyet is another important tool for state management in Vue. It uses the Composition API to provide a simple and easy-to-use store system for managing application state. In addition to these tools, it is also important to be comfortable with the Composition API and Options API versions of creating single file view components. The Composition API allows developers to organize their code in a more logically organized and reusable way. The Options API is the classic way of creating view components, which uses a set of options to define the component's behavior. Vite is a fast development and building tool that can be used with Vue. It was also developed by Evan Yu, who built Vue. It provides fast server-side rendering, optimized hot module replacement, and other features that help developers work more efficiently. Max is a framework for building server-side rendered Vue applications. It provides developers with a pre-configured setup for building modern web applications with Vue, including features like server-side rendering, automatic code splitting, and more. Using Nux can be beneficial for a new Vue developer as it can help them quickly build scalable, performant web applications with ease. By learning these tools and features, you can become a proficient Vue developer and build scalable and efficient web applications. Step 3. Develop real-world projects. The best way to learn Vue is by working on real-world projects with industry-standard tools and practices. This will help you become familiar with the tools that companies use in their development processes. You can also contribute to open source projects or collaborate with other developers on projects to get a feel for working on larger projects. Additionally, it's important to keep track of your progress and document your code as you go. This will make it easier for you to showcase your work to potential employers in the future. Remember to always challenge yourself and continue learning even after you've completed a project. This will help you stay up to date with the latest trends and best practices in Vue development. Step 4. Stay on the leading edge. Staying current with the latest trends and best practices in web development is crucial for any developer looking to excel in their career. One way to do this is to regularly read blogs and watch tutorials taught by industry experts. You can also follow these experts on social media platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn to get the latest updates and insights. Leveraging online learning resources such as Vue Mastery can help you stay current with the latest technologies and best practices. Attending conferences is another way to stay on the leading edge while also being able to network with other professionals in the industry. Conferences often have keynote speakers, workshops, and sessions that cover new topics in web development. By keeping your skills and knowledge fresh, you can demonstrate to potential employers that you're committed to your craft and capable of adapting to new technologies and trends. Step 5. Network with developers. Networking is crucial for any job search and it's no different for Vue.js developers. Networking can help you learn about job openings, gain mentorship, and get feedback on your work. By attending meetups, conferences, and other events, you can meet other developers and potential employers. But of course, there's plenty of networking opportunities online as well. You can join online communities through Vue forums, Slack, and Discord channels, Stack Overflow, Reddit, and Twitter. Follow Vue experts, influencers, and companies you admire, and engage with their content. This can include commenting on their posts, sharing their articles, or asking for advice. LinkedIn is also a great place to connect with recruiters or other professionals in the industry. These communities can provide a platform to ask questions, share knowledge, and connect with like-minded individuals. Another way to network online is to participate in open-source projects on GitHub. 
This can not only help you improve your coding skills, but also allow you to collaborate with other developers and potentially make connections in the industry. Step 6. Contribute to the community. Contributing to the open source community is a great way to build your skills and gain exposure. There are several ways to get involved. One way is to look for bugs or issues in existing projects and submit pull requests to fix them. Another way is to contribute new features or improvements to existing projects or create your own open source view project. To get started, you can browse through the view repository on GitHub or explore the awesome view list, which is a curated list of useful view resources. Make sure to follow the contributing guidelines and code standards set by the project and communicate with the project maintainers and community members to ensure your contributions align with the project's goals. Contributing to open source projects not only helps you build your skills, but also allows you to make a positive impact on the community and create a strong reputation as a developer. Step 7. Curate your portfolio. As you work on real-world projects and gain experience, it's important to develop a strong portfolio. This should showcase your skills and the projects you've worked on. Your portfolio can include links to your GitHub repositories, live demos of your projects, and descriptions of the technologies you used. To develop a strong portfolio as a web developer, there are a few best practices you should keep in mind. Make sure your portfolio is visually appealing and easy to navigate. Use a clean design and keep the focus on your work. Highlight your best projects and those that showcase the specific skills you want to highlight. Provide context for each project by including a brief description of the problem you solve and how you went about solving it. Make sure your code is well documented and organized. Keep your portfolio up to date with your latest projects and skills. To make your portfolio stand out, consider creating a personal brand or logo that you can use consistently across your portfolio and social media channels. Use testimonials or endorsements from clients or colleagues to demonstrate your skills and reliability. And finally, make sure your portfolio is mobile-friendly since employers may be viewing it on their phones or tablets. Remember, your portfolio is often the first impression potential employers will have of you, so make sure it's polished, professional, and highlights your strengths as a developer. Step 8. Share what you're learning. Establishing a personal brand can be key when it comes to landing a job as a Vue developer. Writing about your experiences on a blog or creating tutorials for YouTube are great ways to share your knowledge and connect with other developers. Not only will this reinforce your knowledge, but it can also help you gain exposure and build your reputation within the Vue community. If writing isn't your thing, there are other ways to share your knowledge. Participating in forums and answering questions related to Vue, contributing to documentation on platforms like GitHub, or creating open source projects are all great options. These can help you establish yourself as a knowledgeable and helpful member of the Vue community and can also get you noticed by potential employers. Social media is a powerful tool for building your personal brand. Share your projects, tutorials, and experiences on social media platforms like Twitter, Discord, LinkedIn, or Reddit to build a following, gain exposure, and connect with potential employers. Don't limit yourself to one platform and be sure to network with other developers and showcase your skills. Becoming a professional Vue developer takes time, effort, and dedication. By following these steps, you can increase your chances of landing your dream job as a Vue developer. Remember to stay curious, keep learning and deepening your knowledge, and stay friendly and engaged with the community you want to be a part of. You've got this. We're rooting for you. For more resources to elevate your career path, check out viewmastery.com.